When you get something new, get rid of something old. As simple as that. I know, I know, waste of food, it's horrible. Do not buy anything more, just use them up. So today we live in a world when it's really easy to have a lot of stuff. Whether it's clothes, books, cards, presents or gifts, we live highly cluttered life uh, even though we sometimes do not really realize it. And minimalism is a lifestyle that should simplify your life and make your life better, happier, fresher. <laughs> At its core, minimalism is about decluttering and getting rid of things that do not bring value to our lives. So in this video I want to dive into some minimalist tips for beginners that will help you get motivated. So let's get straight to the video. Tip number one, declutter room by room. Start with the room that is bothering you the most. Keep only items that you really like and that you really use on a daily basis. Tip number two, get rid of anything broken or ripped or torn or whatever. If it's defective, you don't need it anymore. Tip number three, eliminate unworn clothing. If you haven't worn something for ages, then it definitely needs to go. If you do not like the clothes that you own anymore, then you can donate them, you can sell them, or you can pass them to your family members or to your friends maybe. Tip number four, eliminate also unworn shoes. So let's be honest, you really essentially need shoes for outside, for work, for jogging, for running, maybe for doing some sports, for special occasions, that's okay. But let's be honest, you really don't need 50 pairs of shoes. Tip number five, get rid of doubles. If you have like three pizza cutters or 10 wooden uh, spoons, you don't need them. Tip number six, throw out outdated food. I know, I know, waste of food is horrible, but <laughs> it's your fault. If you buy something, you need to eat it and not store it for ages. So look through your pantry, look into your freezer, your refrigerator, and you will be surprised how much food is already out of a date. Tip number seven, shop quality, not quantity. Invest in really high quality supplies or clothing or general products. You don't need like 10 cheap t-shirts. Better invest in something Expensive in high quality, but it will last for ages. Tip number eight, eliminate expired products. And this tip applies to expired products, uh, for example, like cosmetics, medicine, or any other self-care products. Tip number nine, reduce your toiletries. If you have 15 different shampoos, do not buy anything more, just use them up. And then get into the habit of having one bottle of shampoo with one extra in your closet. And follow the similar system for your body wash, for your toothpaste, etc. Tip number 10, digitize your music and your movies. Store your music and your movies on external hard disk and save even more space. Tip number 11, Donate books. Donate the books that you do not want anymore, then you will never ever read again. Only keep the books that you love and get rid of other ones. Tip number 12, digitize also your photos. If you have old boxes with photos that you do not want to get rid of them, then scan them and store them in your computer. Tip number 13, one in, one out principle. My favorite one. When you get something new, get rid of something old. As simple as that. And this might apply to clothing, but can also work for other items. Tip number 14, write down all your purchases. This will prevent you from unnecessary spending 
and it will save you a lot of money. Write down everything that you buy and how much did you spend. And when you go shopping the next time, think of it if you really need it or if you really want it. And that's the difference. The last but not least, tip number 15, is to clear out every few months. To keep clutter in check, go through your home every few months or maybe every few weeks and clear out excess items that you don't need anymore. Why is this so important? Because I think that people are slowly realizing that their lives are too complicated and they are looking for some solution. And the solution is minimalism. Because minimalism is about eliminating unnecessary things from our lives, resulting in more focused and fresher life. So I hope that you are even more motivated now to clear out some uh, excess belongings. It will benefit you a lot because you will have a clearer home and mind as well. I would be very happy if you will let me know how do you declutter, how do you clear out your home, if you have any struggles. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. If so, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you do not want to miss any other video, then please subscribe to my channel. You will do me a big favor. If you want to know more about me and my life, then follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, or you can read my blog. Yeah, so that was it. Be good, be nice to yourself, be kind to the others, and I hope I will see you soon. Bye!